Jayong come out from plane, he was wearing his black mask and black cap with about four bodyguards around him. Everyone was making way for him. He was terrified. Everyone was looking down, not daring to look in his eyes. He looked at his phone. When he got the call, he picked it up the call and speak in his deep husky voice. Jayong, what is it? Boss, have you reached airport? Jayong, yes. How much time you will take to come? Do you want to die? So, sorry, sir, but I am stuck in traffic. Jayong, whatever it is, come fast. If you have to fly the car, I don't care. I won't stand here, waiting for you. Okay, sir, I'll be there soon. He hummed in response and cut the call. Then, suddenly someone tightly hugged, making him shock. And for a second, his bodyguard stopped breathing, thinking, how come you dare to hug him like that? They was about to throw you back, but Jeong stopped them. Then you say, why? Brother, I'm back. You miss me, right? I miss you so much. I even bought strawberry pudding as you asked me to. Mm, why are you wearing mask? Where you were trying to give me surprise, God, hey girl, move back, he is not your brother. Taehyung just keep on admiring him, thinking how can someone be this beautiful without realizing a soft smile appear on his face, which was hidden behind the mask. Why and POV? I quickly move back when the man in black say that he is not my brother. I misunderstood, I guess, but my brother told him that he was going to come wearing these kinds of clothes. I quickly go to the masked man in front and say sorry as an apology I gave him the box of strawberry pudding as I bought two boxes for me. One, yes, as an apology, it's fine. One, please take it sir. I hand him the box and leave from there in search of my stupid brother. After searching for some time, I find that idiot flirting with girl. I hit his head and take him. To other side by grabbing his ear. Jimin, ah, sis, we mean hurt. Van, it should hurt. I was searching for you everywhere like crazy, and here you are flirting with girls. Jimin, why are you shouting at me? I'm elder than you. I make a fist and shout in his ear, saying, So what? Who care? You are still idiot who don't care that his sister is tired. After all, day long, group. Till here, I won't give you your strawberry pudding now. Let's go home. And I will tell Jin Hyun, then he will beat you with his pink slipper. Jimin, all right, all right, let's go. He said and start walking away. Vyan, hey, where are you going? Carry my bags. He signed and do as I say, making me smile proudly. Jimin, I want to break your teeth. I stick my tongue out at him, teasing him. He get annoyed. Jimin, I show you. He walk away and I laugh. I like to annoy him so much. In car, Jimin. I live with my best friend, Van. Oh, the mafia one. Jimin, yes. You better not annoy him. He will not tolerate. Van, yeah, yeah, don't teach me. I know very well. Jimin, I have to tell you because you're so silly. Van, not more than you. We both look away after fighting. We both enter in the house. I throw myself on sofa as I'm tired after the long journey. Jimin, let me show you your room. Van, yeah, please, fast. I'm tired as hell. He rolled his eyes and started going, and I went after him. After showing me room, Jimin left me. I threw myself on bed, all exhausted and tired. Then I threw my shoes on floor and fell asleep like mummy. Jayong POV, I come inside my room and see a girl sleeping, which make my jaw drop. How come a girl dare to enter? Inside my bedroom, I clenched my fist and was about to shout, but then I stopped when I see her face. She is the same girl who hugged me accidentally at airport. What she is doing here is she is Jimin's sister. I think yes, she might have misunderstood me as Jimin. Because I wear his gifted clothes, I went and sit beside bed and admire her. She is very really so pretty. I can feel my cheeks burning. This is the first time I'm feeling like this. I touch my chest. This is so new feeling. My heart is beating so loudly as I can even hear her sound. I look, she was struggling with the hair on her face. So I slowly get up and tuck her hair behind ear. Suddenly she wake up. Why and POV? 
I wake up and see a stranger looking at me. I scream and throw a pillow at him, which make him fall on ground as he was sitting on the edge of bed before. Swam, who are you? How did you enter inside? He was hissing in pain by rubbing his back. Suddenly, Jimin entered inside and his eyes widened. He pulled me down from bed by grabbing my ear, crying, Ah, ah, brother, what the hell? Jimin, how dare you do that? Swan, who is he anyway? Jimin, he is my best friend. Swan, then what he is doing in my room? Jimin, idiot, this is his room. I point toward the beside room of this room and you come here. Swan, then you should have told me properly. I look at the person on whom I throw a blow. He just smiles softly. I look at Jimin, who was shocked as hell. I go to that man and say sorry. No worries. I'm fine. I forgive you. He say and get up. Then he come toward me. I'm from Tim. How about you? Fine. I'm fine. Tim. Nice to meet you, Ryan. You have a nice name. I see my brother shocked that his face was slightly open. After that, I left to my room, taking my stuff. Or the POV. Tim starts smiling like an idiot. When you left, after looking at him with your big toe eyes, Jimin was giving look to Tim. He noticed it and cleared his throat and start rubbing his back neck and say, Tim, your sister is quite pretty. Jimin, not more than me. Tim, beautiful and you, my foot. Jimin, come near Tim's ears and say, Jimin, you like my sis, right? Tim blush badly when Jimin say that. Jimin laugh and say, Jimin, is something wrong with your eyes? You like that potato? Deung, shut up. She is so pretty and her soul is also so pure. She is so cute, adorable. Jimin, should I help you and get along with her? Deung, if you do that, I swear I will buy you whole goosey shop. Jimin, feel done. Here you were thinking about Deung. A pink tint was visible on your face. As you find Tiong so handsome, you place your hand on faces. This is the first time you feel like this. You start rolling on bed without noticing that Jimin was looking at you while standing on door eating popcorn. When your view went to him, you threw a pillow at him, and he dodged it and stick out tongue and left. From this day, you and Tiong start getting close. You both talk a lot, but you both always get shy while looking in each other's eyes. Even though Jim is a cruel mafia, but for you, he is so kind and caring. Jim will help Jim to get him near to you, as you know that Jim loves you so much. Jim will always miss excuse while you three come together, so he can leave you both alone. As the day pass, Jim and your feeling for each other only grow, but you both are afraid to reject. One month later, you are drinking in club, as you are sad because today you are going to confess to Jim. But then you see him hugging a girl. He was smiling with her, which makes you kind of sad. A man approached you and said, Man, hi beauty, may I have your time? Why, I'm busy. That man smiles and sits beside you. He places his hand on yours. You glare at him and within a blink, that man was on the floor. You slowly turn and see angry Tim. He pulled you to him. Tim, hear you. How dare you to lay your disgusting eye on someone else, girl? No one can look or touch a woman or girl inappropriately in front of me till I am alive. You keep on looking at him in shock. Tim again punches the man and say, Tim, don't you dare to touch other women again. This time I'm leaving you because my love is here. So I won't kill you in front of her. You look around and see the same girl he was hugging. Tears start building up in your eye. You was on verge of crying, so he ran from there, Tim noticed it, and went after you. You start running toward your car, but Tim grabbed you with your arm and said, Tim, why are you running? Did I do something wrong? Why? You didn't do anything wrong. I was stupid. Tim, what are you saying? You are not stupid. You finally start crying and start hitting him. He grabbed your both hands and pulled you in half. Tim, whatever it is, I'm sorry, okay? Why, why, why can't you love me? I love you so much. I'm sorry, but I can't hide it anymore. I know that you like that girl who was with Jivin Parr, but still, I want to tell you this. 
Jeong I was married. When you see that you love him, he separates himself from you and look at you. Jeong, you, you love me. Why, yes, but it doesn't matter now. My first love is all gone. I'm going to move on. Jeong, don't say that. Why, you should not stay here. Your girlfriend might be waiting for you and thank you for saving me. Jeong lightly chuckled and hug you. Jeong, she is my sister, Babu. You are my love. You look at him in shock while sobbing. Why, you, you also love me? Jeong, I love you since I first saw you. He said, place his hand on your chest. Jeong, the guy you hug on airport was me. Wan, what is I see? Jeong, I love you so much, Wan. Even in my dream, you only come and before meeting you. My dreams were only for bad mothers and killing. That's all I decided to change myself for you. Wan, thanks, Jeong. Sorry for misunderstood you. I also love you so much, Jeong. I love you more and I promise I always will. And I will always protect you too.